Hello everybody, this is Vuzak and I am back. So if you look in my inventory you can see I have a lot of spades, air shovels and a bit of pickaxes and some food. So I'm going this really looks pretty cool now, I wish I'd move my house over here. Anyway, so I'm going over here to get a lot of sand to make a lot of glass. And I also brought some pickaxes to get some sandstone. And I hope to come back with enough glass to kind of make these glass elevator water tube things to move my mobs from the spawners around. And I'm kind of hoping to make... Oops, I forgot it. Ran out one block short. It's a pretty deep lake. Anyway, so... This place is pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah. I had hoped to do that basically. And yeah. I also want to use the sandstone to make the bottom layer of my house. Because I thought that would look pretty cool. And then I'm probably going to use snow on the second floor. Um, yeah. So, it's uh, my friend showed me this cool design for a house and I'm gonna use that one so yeah there's my little arrow thing which means the desert is this way and the floating island yeah too bad I can't get jungles in my world but anyway maybe the desert isn't this way Whoa. I don't know why I did that Alright, so I'll see you when I get to the desert. So, I'm in the desert, and probably should have brought a hatchet, maybe. Anyway, so I'm going to be just getting a lot of sand, and I'll probably take some cactus as well. I'm going to try to get exactly 64 cactus. Alright, so when I've mined up a lot, I'll be back to you. Alright, guys, so I did a lot, and... I didn't really get that much. I had thought that I'd get a lot more a lot faster. This took a few hours. Well, probably an hour, a bit more. So yeah. Yeah. Died a few times and I made myself a lot of iron armor. Yeah. So I also gave up on the whole cactus idea when I started going downwards. And I have enough to make enough glass, I'm pretty sure. And which way is the right way? It's gonna go it this way. Wait, where's that floating island? This way, I think. Anyway, so eventually when I get back and I've made it all into glass, I might keep some. I keep the sandstone anyway. Oh, uh, wait, I will make as much glass as I think I need and then I'll keep the rest and if I don't need it I'll make it into sandstone. Yeah, there's floating island. So when I get back, I'll be back to you. Alright, so I was just looking at the snow dome thing. And it's about to call it a snow globe. He doesn't seem to go into the corners. But anyway. So, that works pretty well. But, obviously my snow generator is a lot more efficient than going in every time. And also running the rest of the get out. Although he probably can't go past the door. Anyway. So, I was also thinking about lowering the level of the chickens, because they don't need to be that high, they could be this level, and then putting a second level in, so the eggs from the top level would just drop through both levels and down, which would work well. Also, I wanted to show you the chicken killing machine, which is full of chickens right now. And I think I'll add a few more. Yeah. So, I now that I have all that sand, I'm going to make it in a... This keeps happening. Every time you go out of the area, that's the only problem with this machine. If you go out of the area, the brick will disappear. That's down to my slime farm, by the way. Get went right through, missed all the redstone. I was pretty lucky. Um, yeah, so if this does happen, you just throw a new block on, and it'll continue from where it was or whatever. So, yeah. Ah, I always do that. 
So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. So they are all cooking. I have got six stacks of 64 so far, which is probably even enough. And each one of these is doing another 64. But since I have three spawners and I need tubes going everywhere and all, I'm just gonna get a lot of glass. So once I they're all done, actually I can just start with these. So I'm gonna eat down there. So oh crap. Oh shit. Fuck. Lucky they didn't get into or didn't break this. Or all those zombies would get out. Yeah, it's all still fine. Uh, I saw a skeleton over there. Anyway. So let's see if he's here. And alright, so we're gonna Oh crap. We're gonna start with the skeleton um spawner, because they're kinda the most use oh yeah, I'm full. I'd fill up with signs I realized and get a sword. Lucky I got the sword. Uh, creepers are definitely my least favourite right now. Man of things they've blown up. I am gonna go ahead and turn down my sound a bit while I'm in this area. And just those thingies are pretty noisy. So I always see mobs trying to get through that gap there. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is the way down. And that also leads down to the slime thing. So the skeleton one is just down here, is it? Yeah. And as I remember I hollowed out a really, really, really pointless area. Anyway. Let's put down some of them so I can pick up a few items. Ow! I forgot they can do that. And he should have died. I don't know if he did. Anyway. So, I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do is... Ah, they both missed. I'm gonna go down there, actually, because I want some items. But I'm gonna block off this kind of layer here, level. And then I'm gonna go upwards with a tube kind of thing. So, once I have, I will be back to you. Goodbye. Alright. So, I realize I'm gonna have to go and trek back and forward for signs every time, because they do go fast. So basically, I've made a water stream pushing them down this way, to where I'll have an elevator thing. And you have to have some blocks on the side that they can actually stand on and get pushed into the water from. Also, I want to change that a bit. And... Put down some of this. And I'll put that there, just so there's a little more space for them to spawn. Yeah. So now there's more chance of spawning, because if you don't leave much area, not that many will spawn. Then you want to, for your elevator, put signs across like I did for the chicken thing, which will hold the water up. and. I'm going to be stuck in here, but anyway. And I will also need a little water source. So, put some water there. Put some water in that corner. You usually have to do three in total. And say water up there. And it should flatten out. Yep. And then, so when they jump, they swim up. And I'll continue the elevator all the way up. The little signs give them air to breathe as they go up. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'm going to continue this up a long way, and I'll be back to you then. Hello guys, so I just built the tube fully up, and have just finished it, and you guys probably can't really see anything right now. When I get to the bottom you will, and passes by that kind of mine on this, where the other mob trap is, which I think is pretty cool, so I can easily join those two up. The problem is joining this one up, and um, so see when the skeleton spawns, we'll see how it works. Alright, so, three, two, one, alright, so skeleton spawn. he's gonna fall into the water, he'll probably shoot me as he comes up this, you see, that's the only problem, well, it's not really a problem, because I shouldn't really be here now, so yeah, he shoots me, he should start coming up underneath me, and there he is, ow, 
hopefully it survive. How? I knew this would happen because I tried it before, so I made a little hole up here for me to get out. Where is it? There. Ow. Alright, on a mount. And he's still in there. So, basically, I'm hoping to make my house. Oh, crap. So it's in range of the mob spawner, so they're always spawning. So they're coming up this tube above ground. What the hell? XP! Alright, so they'll be coming up this tube above ground and falling down all the way down beside my house and I can just collect. Or I can just hit them with one uh, hit because they've fallen so far. So that's all we have time for in this episode. I will be working on these off camera, uh, get them all linked up and decide where I'm going to build my house. See you! Hello guys, so I, I'm just looking at this tube that I made. Skeleton goes up. And... Skeleton goes up. And they just keep going up. I'm trying to get the level right where they don't die. And they only have a little bit of health. So I'm just going up levels. They can't really kill me when they have such little health. Um, the spawning's all fine. And just the way I'm making them come down isn't really... Uh, I'm happy every time I go up. Yes, it's definitely good, so I can make my house basement higher and higher. And it below is... Uh, that guy... Something happened to him Or He took some damage on the way down, so... I'm not gonna count that. Hopefully they keep spawning if I'm standing at this level. I'm not really sure about that. Hmm... I don't know. Alright, well, I'm gonna... Here's one. Ah, he's alive, so... And he's not hitting me. Alright, now he is. Okay, there's a few of them. Alright, so... I'm gonna go with another block down. Probably. It's the best. Maybe two. Yeah. So basically, it's just a tiny bit above where they actually started spawning. And... Alright, well I'll tell you if it worked. Alright, so right now I'm in a pretty bad place. Uh, I'm getting attacked by the skeletons and the zombies from here at the same time. So, Alright, so this is a good level. On this side I have zombies, which I can make go all the way up and fall like the skeletons. And I also have the skeletons, which don't seem to be coming on camera, but they do off camera. So yeah see these zombies. I'm not sure which spawner this is. Yeah, this is the one that had the cactus in it. And I just realized that I opened it up and forgot to close it again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to make the other tubes and I'll be back to you.